This was at a swamp by my house. Um, what it, I thought was just one snapping turtle ended up being two snapping turtles breeding. I just want to say before this video that uh, I do grab them by the tail here. Um, afterwards, I found out reading online that there is you can injure them by holding them by the tail. I know about a dozen people that regularly catch snapping turtles. Um, everyone I know catches them like this, but uh, you can injure them like this. Um, I do, I've never heard of it firsthand, but it does say online that this can happen. So from now on, I won't be grabbing them like this. They do have a strong muscular tail, so I think if you were going to hurt them like this, you'd have to be swing them around pretty hard for it to actually hurt them. Whoa! He's actually coming right at me. Damn. So that's pretty cool. He's not happy. Big shell on him. I cleaned him off. There's the tail there. Big hey. spines. He is charging. He's full no, on charging. Hey, Check hey. out those claws. Doesn't like to be tickled. Big reach on him. Probably open up real wide. Touch his head. He's not happy. Snap a finger off. You can see his nostrils there. Looking good. The angry turtle that could. It's been real. It's been real. He's turned around. There he goes. Like a sea turtle. Down to his home. In other turtle news, this is a snake neck turtle from the store I work at. Um, I did end up taking him home, so uh, I've got him at home now in about a 100 gallon tank. He's really cool. So I'll probably do a video on him coming soon, maybe next week or two. So here's a little update on the stingrays. They're all doing good. With the new turtle, I moved all the red hooks and silver dollars into this tank. There's about a dozen of them. It's been probably about a month now, and no losses so far, even though small silver dollars have all made it. And this last clip was just at Red River Gorge, walking around on top of a cliff.